of the very few countries which still has that pure old-fashioned football vibe. A place where supporters' voice is taken into account. A league which means nothing without the supporters. Have you already watched the vlogger who's into a league outside the top five, the most commercial competitions? No. Well, you have now. I myself am Hungarian, but in 2021 I discovered the Swedish supporter culture. I'm pretty much addicted to it by now. Asvenskan is the Premier League for me. It's the Alpha and Omega of this channel. If you're new, a warm welcome to HFV. If you're around for a while, welcome back. You can find a large collection of Swedish match day experiences on this channel from Asvenskan to Superettan, from IFK Göteborg to Mjelbe, from Jurgården to Geis, from Varberg to Malmö, from AIK to Elfsborg, from Hammarby to Norrköping. Sweden playlist. Link below. A Stockholm derby is as good as it gets and we'll add another one to the collection today. The top game of round 22 in Alsvenskan 2023. Hamar BEF against Oiko. Last year they played a stunner in Oiko's home ground, Friends Arena. <laughs> And since then they played another two games. This year, Hamarby won 2-1 in the cup quarterfinals after a controversial decider and Oiko won 2-0 in the league at home. The last 10 head-to-head -head balance is perfect in this pairing. Four wins each and two draws. It's a disappointing season for both these Stockholm giants whose expectations are European places, but both of them are far from that. Especially Oiko with the Normam side fighting relegation this year, escaping direct relegation zone not earlier than last round when they won against last place Varberg 3-0. We'll see a fully packed Stockholm Arena, obviously. Tifos from both sides, I'm sure. I'm happy to be back in Södermalm for a Bayern game this time. You guys have been asking for it as well. So nothing left but a flight to Sweden and New Engong. Nishövi. it's so funny i could have put this together before but i didn't i just got off the train and i'm heading to the away uh, gathering area to capture some interviews there first because i'm gonna be in the home section throughout the game so obviously i have to go to if i want to get both sides in i have to go to the away areas first and i uh, got off here at uh, stockholm's östra and <laughs> i see supporters of a team which both Hamarby and Oiko. Hey, it's you and the third big team in Stockholm. And it's so funny because some Oiko supporters were getting off here as well. Uh, the Jurgården supporters are heading to Norrköping because uh, it's a 3 p.m. kickoff for the derby today. Hamarby against Oiko. Just like in Norrköping. Norrköping against Jurgården and they'll probably depart with a train from here. And it's so funny, some Oiko supporters got off the train as well. And they were like beating their, literally their eternal rivals. So if there's a team uh, Oiko supporters hate more than uh, today's rivals on the pitch, Hamarby, it's Jurgården and uh, so many Jurgården supporters are here, it's so funny but obviously uh, it's not the game we are going to. We're at uh, Friedhelm's plan next to it in a park and the gardening work might uh, annoy you a bit but I have some Oiko supporters today, you guys are going to be in the away section obviously. How do you see your chances against Bayern today? Um, I think it's gonna be tough, um, I'm not uh, expecting a win but uh, if we get a point, I'm, I'm really happy. Sweden have this uh, constant thing that you guys play on both uh, artificial grass and natural and hybrid, for instance, in Malmö and uh, Göteborg. But today it's artificial and that could be an advantage for Bayern. Uh, do you think you can still make something out of today? Maybe a draw or even a win? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, there's uh, more than just one team who plays on uh, artificial grass in Allsvenskan, so uh, I don't think it will make any big difference. Who do you think the key players are of Aiko right now? Who could be... Who could be decisive today? I think uh, Anton Saletros will probably be the decisive player. I think Oteano will also be key for our uh, going after attack. I hope that, uh, I don't know the starting 11, but I hope that Farai plays as well as he did in the last game and can hold up uh, the defense so that Peters can score. But yeah, uh, mainly I think it's going to be tough. Mainly. What an away day like in Stockholm for you guys? 
you can start the podcast. It's a, a very exciting day. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, like you said, you know, Bayern is our next biggest opponent. For our, uh, you, Gordon, is our biggest. So we will definitely want to beat them. I hope 3-0, uh, I, th I think Pitas will make a hat-trick. Are you guys, I know it's an uncomfortable question, but are you guys going to manage to stay in Alsvenskan? Yes, of course. Yeah, I think, I so, think yeah. so. It's easy. It, yeah. It's going to be hard, but I think so. I think with Pitas at the front, I think it won't be that hard. Uh, he makes a lot of goals. I think he gets in the team more and more. So I think it will score more often with the... Uh, with good cameras. Yeah, we signed very much uh, players <laughs> in uh, this uh, transfer window, so I think we're going to stay up and next year we're going to win uh, win the gold, you know. Yeah, we take the SM gold. I really like the optimism with like every single traditional team in Sweden. You guys have a new coach, you had Brandström, now you have Henning Berg. Opinions about him and his work so far? Uh, yeah, I think it's decent, like, he's done some good games and some bad, I think. Yeah, yeah we only lose one game, I think, without, yeah. uh, with him. And uh, that was a hard opponent, so I think it's he's making okay. It's a start with a new team. It's hard to, uh, you know, get the right tactics and everything. So I think, we, given a lot of time, I think we, if we stay up in Allsvenskan this season, I think it's okay. And he will uh, just uh, pre-season. I think he will get the start uh, fit. And at last, a spicy question: What do you guys think about Hamar BF? I hate them. Yeah. Uh, you know. Hate them. Their fans are always like sitting in the, some park or shit and drinking beer. <laughs> yeah. drinking <laughs> I love it. Pure, yeah. pure content. So guys. I hate them yeah. really. Very good. Very I got good. a lot of friends that is Hammarbyare. So. Uh... <laughs> we have quite the atmosphere in the park. Yeah. And it's last. Viota Baye! Viota Baye! There are loads of high supporters here around Free Thames Plan, especially that way there. There are, I think, most of the ultras. So obviously not go there because uh, I can't say it enough times. I always respect the ultras culture that they don't want their face in the video. And I was lucky enough to capture some really good interviews in the park. So uh, on we go to our next destination, which will be a home area already. We're heading to Gluben Gulmash Plan with Tunnel Banner, the Metro here in Stockholm, and join the home supporters. Welcome everyone to uh, Medborgar Platz, and this is the gathering area of Hammarby supporters. There aren't so many as for now, so where we are now, it's not the stadium yet, but there are actually quite many supporters on the other side at the bars, so uh, we're about to head there. I have the pleasure of Bayern supporters joining me. How are you guys feeling today ahead of the derby? Nervous, very nervous. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a good game, but yeah, you're always nervous before a derby. How do you see your chances in this home derby against Saiko? I think it will be a tough game. AIK have been playing quite good recently. And uh, a derby is a derby. Everything can happen. Do you guys think that we'll rather see an attacking display from Hammarby or defending or, or sort of neutral, keeping the possession? What will we see on the pitch today? Uh, I think since we had uh, kept a clean sheet the three last games, I think uh, I think we should play kind of offensively, uh, but still uh, keep it tight uh, in the defense. Which players would you guys mention who could be decisive today? Uh, I think uh, Josef Rabi have been uh, really good for us. Uh, in Hammarby, I think... Uh, Nahir, Besara, always good with the ball, good with the feet, uh, assists and goals always. Uh, and for AIK, I think uh, Pitas maybe. He's been good uh, the last few games for AIK. Will we see a TIFO? I'm quite sure, but what do you guys think? Have you maybe been there at the preparing? No, I wasn't there, but uh, it w it's always a good uh, TIFO when Hamabi and Oiko play. Here I have the pleasure of a really important person of Hammarby Ultras joining me. 
Can you tell briefly the essence of being a Homer Bee supporter? It's something uh, you grew up with. For me, it was from generation past to another generation. And uh, I guess it's similar in every club. You have it from your parents, your grandparents. And uh, sometimes people uh, try to uh, make a revolt and support another team. But in my case, I will always stay green and white. And that's how my family and some generations in my family always support Hammerby. So it's easy choice for me. We can definitely expect a TIFO today. And I'm quite sure you've been there at the preparing. Uh, what can we expect? What can you tell beforehand? I will uh, say it's going to be good. I was not part of it inside uh, in the pitch on the stands. I was there for half an hour and uh, helped the lads with uh, some small prepar preparations. You have a quite unique story with Hamar Bu, don't you? Tell the viewers what it is, where you're from and so on. Uh, I am from um, Reggio Calabria, South Italy. And um, I have one uh, page in Instagram, Old School Football LC. And I usually travel everywhere, I'm a ground hopper and I go to watch the nicest atmosphere and matches. So I started to keep in touch with uh, Mikkel from uh, Amarby and uh, I came uh, some months ago to watch the um, Derby versus uh, Deer Garden. It was it must be really great, like a 4 3. Yeah. We are carrying in a moment. That was a 4-3 derby. It was an amazing atmosphere and uh, I started to feel in love uh, about the choreography of the MRB. So I usually watch on Instagram and Facebook and I started to say to myself, OK, I would like to go there to watch the atmosphere. That derby was amazing as a choreography, as atmosphere and everything. And so I told myself I will come back for the other derby. So today I am here for this reason and to meet also friends. Score prediction, guys, from all of you for today and who will score the goals? I hope. We're gonna uh, at least take a point, so I'm gonna say maybe 2-2. Two, two. I say 2-0 uh, to Alko, um, Pittas and, uh, Pittas and uh, Besirovic. Oh yeah, Pittas has been an absolutely great yeah. signing. Besirovic came from Hungary by the way as yeah. well, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I think 2-1 uh, as well, and I think uh, Pittas will score and also Saledra. 2-0 for AK. 2-1 for AIK. Yeah, I think 3-0. Uh, I will say 4-2 uh, to AIK. I think Pitas will make two goals and Salietros one and uh, Modesto. Modesto one. Yeah, Modesto gonna score two, I think. 2 1, Hammarby. Since you kept the clean sheet last three games, I think 2 0, Hammarby. 2 1 for Hammarby. I hope we will win uh, 3 1, 3 0, but the Oiko, one thing I can say about them. I really don't like them, I hate them with all my heart, but they are always very strong when it comes to derbies. That, that, uh, that we cannot definitely take away from them. Time to head inside eventually after capturing all the pre-match build-up. I got a match day program as well as a present actually, so I'm really thankful for that. We're gonna be a bit closer to the home ultras and can't wait for this. The TFOs, the Derby atmosphere. Let's go guys. Here we are, Teletvu Arena for a Derby once again.
följande AIK ställer upp i följande startelva. Åka till det fram och ställer upp i Världens vackraste idrottsledning, Hallo BF ställer upp i följande startelva. Åka till en nummer 20 och Nahi Pesara. I mål nummer 1, Oliver Ertovi. Nummer 12, Hammarby Kuli. Nummer 13, Mav Fengel. The Tifos, as always here in Sweden, brilliant. Both sides have done a really, really great job. Delighted to see this all. Underway by the home side, Hamar Buhiev. Oik were really pressing in the first minutes. After the really great Hamar Buhiev chance, they hit the post, they hit the crossbar. the first goal and it's sort of against the odds 24th minute the away team Oiko take the lead it was put away well to the bottom left inside the box
Nutfeld got there for the initial shot. That was a great save, but then Erabi, the second time of asking, gave Hamar with the equalizer. We are seeing an excellent derby so far. It's exactly what I was expecting. Let's carry on. Great support, great defos, great game, can't complain. Neither of the sides were extremely dominant in open play. They uh, both tried to uh, press high while the other team was building up their attack. They had some great chances, but uh, the biggest ones were the goals. Uh, the Oyako one was played out well, and then the shot from close in, and the Bayern one after a rebound. The defos were amazing, as I, uh, as I mentioned before. I think he went twice. We didn't see that much pyro yet, but I think we'll see some. The support is great. I still think it can be even better in the second half. Nothing else to mention as for now. Enjoying it thoroughly. Before we carry on with the vlog, a short service message. You probably guessed that creating all this content abroad takes up quite much time and money. It wouldn't even be possible without generous supporters offering me a place to stay every now and then. If you have the possibility, please support my work by hitting the thanks button below the video. You can patronize the creation of future HFV videos by that with an amount you choose yourself. Another possibility for this is the channel's Patreon page which you can see on screen and find in the description as well. If you have no intention of sending money to the channel, it's already a huge help. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I know there are many teenager football supporters watching this channel. In case you're one of them, ignore what I just said about sending cash. Spend it rather on yourself, your friends or buy a new scarf of your favorite team. At your age, I was told to do the same. Thank you very much for your help in advance. Let's carry on with the game. And the second half. My Bayern supporter friend watching the game with me just told me why there is no home pyro. The Oiko pyro is awesome as always. Hammerby was fined for the UEFA Conference League qualifications when they played against Twente at home that 1-1 game. And they were fined for pyro by uh, 50,000 euros by UEFA. So that's the reason why they uh, don't have pyro today. Poor because uh, pyro is part of the culture obviously. And uh, great job from Oiko.
Less than quarter of an hour into the second half. Bayan take the lead after a brilliant free kick from the number 20, Nahir Basara. I pulled away the camera to record the limbs instead. Guys, what a story this was. What a great free kick. Brilliant. 2-1 Bayan. And I really have the feeling that there is more to come. This game has even more to offer. Great chance for Hanover in the counter. Clear shoot opportunity. were brilliant on the counter they were attacking on the left side Dukanovic pulled inside and just curled it past the keeper to the far post brilliant goal 3-1 to Hamarby it was around the 64th minute I think and obviously a brilliant atmosphere here now an Oiko free kick Oiko oh, gets one back, 77th minute, far post once again, but from really close in, a really well curled ball, pure technique, and uh, it gives really much extra to these last minutes, because now Bayern are only one goal from literally anything can happen. It happened really quickly, like Bayern started uh, the game again from the center spot, like after 30 seconds, but can they score another one now? No, it's offside. It is actually not almost full house, it is literal full house because uh, if you look at the corners separating the away supporter section, those are closed off and that takes away about like 2,500 seats, so it's, it's literal full house today.
92nd minute, what a spectacular goal to see. Viktor Djukanovic gets his derby double and he decides the game for Hamarbe in the additional time. Six goals in this derby, just like last year, but that was 3-3 on Hamarbe's ground. That game was uh, spring 2022, so more than a year ago. It's awesome, what a, what a great game this turned out to be. It's a win for Hamarbe, sure by now. If you score four in a derby, you deserve to win. Hamarbu did it the second time this year and they moved up to the fifth place. Since Degafors surprisingly defeated Hecken, Aiko are now back on the relegation playoff spot. This league, guys, unpredictable. First of all, no one wants to win it if you look at the results of the top three teams in the last round. It has no logic in it 
at all so it's uh, very enjoyable obviously but it would be even more enjoyable if the best supported clubs would be fighting for the title in my opinion it's hard to put this whole season together with Oiko and EF Göteborg having such a hard time staying in the league it's not how it should be but if you look at their following for instance Oiko have a higher average attendance than last year this culture is incredible and I'll keep coming back to cover more and more of it I hope you enjoyed the match day documentary I tried to capture all important moments if you're new to the channel a warm welcome join me on the social media platforms as well and if you're here for longer i really appreciate your constant support of the channel as always check out the sweden playlist for all the match day content i've been creating here in sweden since october 2021 and that was it more swedish derbies upcoming very very soon i was ajfi take care guys see you in the next one